pending home sales coming up well above the expectations, right? In fact, it was record. Is there anything that will slow down this hot housing market in the United States? How do we invest, right? Let's bring on our expert panel. Jason Haber, broker, Warburg Realty, Rogers Healy, owner, CEO Healy, Global Relocation. It's great to see you both. Uh, Rogers, I'll start with you. It's amazing as we continue to see the strong numbers. Everybody talks about low supply. People, you know, I hear stories right here in Long Island, which is outside the city, that houses are going well above the asking price and going in a couple of days. Rogers? Yeah. If not a couple of minutes or a couple of hours. So yeah, it's, and hi, Jason. Good to see you, buddy. Uh, yeah, it, 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 it's great to be a seller, but it's also not because if a seller has to sell, they have to buy. So yeah, we're, we're experiencing this, whether it's in Jersey, California, Texas, or, you know, the Midwest, we've seen just a crazy surge last longer than anybody ever could have predicted. So the only fun thing about real estate right now is being a realtor. You know, and I, I think just the, the volatility on the back end has been in the fact that, you know, normally you can take your time, you can wait it out, but those days have long passed us by in the midst of a pandemic. So, yeah, it, it's absolute, absolute pandemonium. Jason, does this boom continue? When does it slow down? Usually it's the spring season. We had the COVID push. Right. Now what? Well, you put seasonality away right now. You know, COVID has changed the entire dynamic. You know, during the last recession rodeo, the housing market needed a lasso to get out of the abyss. And now the housing market is the lasso pulling the economy out of the abyss. It's amazing to see the strength across the country in the housing market. And I think every market has different supply and demand needs. So you're going to see um, some markets sort of uh, cool off before others. But across the country right now, all the data is very clear. Uh, housing, housing, housing is key to this recovery and to growth going into 2021. And Rogers, when we look at all things housing, we look at uh, the home builders, we look at the home improvement stores as everybody's do-it-yourselfers and trying to spruce up their new homes or fixing the ones they have. Um, what do you think? Are you hearing anything like that regionally, some of these builders, what they need, materials, or what the folks need from some of these home improvement stores? Yeah, uh, sure. But again, I mean, those prices have gone up too. And, and I think we have to be realistic with this as well. Obviously, it's a great time to be in real estate. It's a great time to be a seller. Maybe it's a great time to be a, a buyer. But yeah, I mean, everybody is wanting to do something to their property until they run out of stuff to do, which means they're going to be moving. So yeah, it, it, it's been crazy, right? But everyone reaches a limitation. And I, I've got certain thoughts on the recession as well. I don't really think it was a real recession. I think it was a break for a month. But you know, like, like Jason said, it, it, it's just dealing with the fact that real estate is coincidentally what's going to save our economy, whereas back a decade ago, real estate was the person to blame. So it, it, it's a good time to be in the home renovation business. It's a good time to be in the home building business. But with that being said, too, permits in Dallas, Texas alone, where we are, we, my wife and I called about a permit yesterday. It's a three-month wait, and that's not for anything crazy. So there's going to be some sort of you know, an issue that's going to come up in the near future where people are just going to reach the, the point of annoyance. But either way, right now, it's still a great time yeah. to be in real estate, no matter what. Yeah, and the rates are still very low, mortgage rates. Jason, when we look at the trends that we've been seeing, we talked about home builders, we talked about the do-it-yourselfers going to the home improvement stores and prices on the rise. What about REITs too, right? Any of, any of those sort of grab your attention, the malls? Well, commercial real estate too, incorporate it all. Properties doing it, they're part of the reopening play. Uh, look at, I think Home Depot is now trading around $278 a share or so, um, even though the price of lumber is going up. I mean, these are the companies to watch and the REITs you should be watching as bellwethers, as canaries in the coal mine of where the housing market's going. You know, look at what Lenar is doing in KB Home, uh, Toll Brothers. I mean, these are telling you what the, what the, how the market feels about housing, and it feels really bullish right now. And I think you're going to see that continue for the next few quarters. Thank you so much, Jason and Rogers. Great conversation here about housing. Jason Haber, broker, Warburg Realty, Rogers Healy, owner, CEO, Healy Global Relocation.